you're a practitioner in the charitable sector at whatever level, um, a leader, middle manager, uh, an aspiring young person wanting to devote yourself to work in the voluntary sector, your day-to-day -day job obviously is engaged in, in delivering for that charity and doing what gives you a meaning and purpose in life basically. But actually of course if you work with practitioners like the ones uh, at the OU who have research capability as well as experience, who can take a strategic view across the charitable sector, who can take deep dives into aspects of uh, the way in which charity, charities and the voluntary sector work, then the research of course informs uh, the practicalities. Um, the research can take a, a wider view of things, can be very helpful uh, to individual charities and to individuals in terms of the development of their own organisation and in terms of the development of them as human beings. And it's, for me it's always been a question of, of matching up good research and learning from that research and learning from a a research facility like here at the OU that's dedicated to voluntary sector leadership and the leadership across charities and then putting that into practice in your everyday life. Well I think one of the, the interesting things that CVSL has done is to focus on the smaller charities, they're the ones that you know typically don't, uh, wouldn't have research budgets, um, would struggle to find the time to engage with universities or institutes to do research for themselves. So having somebody else kind of helping them to spot their own research needs is, is quite useful. I think the challenge for the smaller charities then is to figure out, you know, to have the time to read the research papers. H how am I going to find time to do that when I'm, you know, running around uh, looking after the accounts and trying to chase up funders and manage volunteers and dealing with mini crises left, right and centre and fielding phone calls from my chair or something. You know, these are, these are really difficult issues. So that's why the... The research kind of in its results needs to come, uh, I think, without the usual kind of academic prevarications about the process and the methodology. I just want to know, so what? What do I change because of it? Um, so I think that's important in the way that the research is communicated. If you don't do action research, you're likely to sp focus on uh, symptoms rather than dealing with the very causes of the issue at hand. So research is always of value. It adds value because it helps you to look at the wider context as opposed to dealing with uh, immediate presenting issue. So the Centre for Voluntary Sector Leadership is a timely institution to have. It is important to have research in order to inform the direction of the journey we take to solve the problems we face in a more systemic way. And in particular, if we are going to do it collaboratively, and become core producers of knowledge with the groups that we serve. I think it's really important for the voluntary sector to know what works in leadership. So there's been loads of research into what works for business management and for example things like doing an MBA being seen as the pinnacle of business management, yet for the voluntary sector it's not really quite so clear what skills are needed and sometimes people read across that business skills are going to put you in good stead for leadership in the voluntary sector when actually there can be a different set of challenges to deal with.